Hello, good morning, kids. Um, so today we're going to start a new topic, which is, um, you know, measures of um, tendency. And, you know, we're going to be talking about mode, mean, median, and range. All right. So as you can see, the mean um, refers to the average. All right. The average. So that is the total number, the number of uh, everything that we're adding up divided by the number of um, elements that we have. The mode refers to the most frequent, the uh, median refers to the middle term after we put it in, in order, and the range is the difference between the highest and the lowest. So here, again, like I said, we are identifying the mode, mean, median, and the range, all right? So what we're going to do here is, we first thing that we're going to do is we're going to put these in order from the smallest to the largest, all right? So the smallest number that I have here is one, and I have two ones, so I'm going to put in order, all right, I go one, one, so I cross these out. Then I'm going to go two, 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 because I have one, two, three, two, all right. Then I have one, two, three, three, so I got three, 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 all right. Those are crossed, and I have a four, and then I have a six, all right. So here on this problem, you see we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 students, all right? So total is equals to 10. So I'm just going to write that there, all right? So what are we identifying here? I need to find my mean, all right? Again, remember the mean refers to the average. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add all these numbers here. So it's going to be 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2, plus 3, plus 3, plus 3, plus 4, plus 6. And again, I'm going to check to make sure 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I got 10 numbers, all right? So I'm dividing by the total, which is 10, all right? So I'm going to add these up. So I got 6 and 4 is 10, 19, 21, 23, 25, 26, 27. So it's equals to 27 divided by 10 so that's going to give me a mean of 2.7 and that's how i find my mean all right so now what i need to do is i need to find the mode the mode refers to the number that occurs the most all right so i'm going to have to find the mode here which number occurs the most here that is what i'm going to be looking for here all right so let's go ahead and what we're going to look at it is we're going to look at the numbers all right how many times does one occur one occurs twice two occurs three times and three occurs three times four occurs one and five occurs one so my mode is going to be the number two and it's going to be the number three because i have three twos and three threes so it's the numbers that number are numbers that occur the most all right so these both occur three times so that's why i'm listing it all right. All right. So we got the mean, we got the mode, we got the median. The median refers to the number that's in the middle after you put it in order. So again, let's look at it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go from left to right. So smallest, largest, smallest, largest. All right. And then until we get to the middle. So here, if I go smallest, large, right? Small, large, small, large, small, large. What I realize now is that I got two numbers in my middle, right? It's an even number, so I'm going to always end up with two numbers in the middle. So how do I do that? It's going to be 2 plus 3, which I'm going to combine both of these middle numbers here, and divide it by 2 to get an average. So this is equals to 5 divided by 2, which is equals to 2.5. So my median, and again, I'm going to box my answer here, all right? So I'm going to say my mode is 2 and 3. My mean is 2.7. Alright. My median represents my median. Alright. So now I need to find my range. Alright. My range is the difference between the highest and the lowest number. So what's the highest number? Highest number is 6. So it's going to be 6 minus the lowest number, which is 1. 6 minus 1, which is 5. So 5 here represents my range. 
So my range is equals to five. And that's all we're gonna be doing for this lesson, all right? So let's go ahead and let's look at a second example. Then I'm gonna assign you guys some to do on our exercise. All right. So here we have these numbers. All right. So these are the numbers we have. So I need to first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put them in order from the smallest to the largest. All right. So we're gonna start out with the smallest number, which is 50. So we got 150, and we got another 50 here. All right. So we x that out. Then after 50, we got 450, all right? Cross that out, then we have a 500, cross that out. Then we have 950, cross that out. Then we got 1,000, all right? Cross that out, and then we got 11,000, all right? So that's gonna give me a total of how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So my total, is equals to seven all right so first to find my mean my mean is equal so i'm going to add all these numbers and divide it by seven so it's going to be 50 plus 50 plus 450 plus 500 plus 950 plus a thousand plus eleven thousand divided by seven all right so I'm going to go ahead and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add these numbers together. Alright, so when I add these numbers together, I'm going to plug it in my calculator. As you guys can see here, so I have 50 plus 50 plus 450 plus 500 plus 950 plus 1000 plus 11,000 is equals to 1400. So I got mean is equals to 14,000 divided by 7, which is divided by 7, which is equals to 2000. So my mean 2000 is equals to my mean. All right, now we're gonna go to our mode. All right, our mode refers to again, remember, mode refers to most mode most all right so which number occurs the most we only have one of these but we got 250 so my mode is 50 all right now we're going to go to median all right so median is equal to the middle term so if we go again what we're going to do we're going to cross on one top one bottom so highest lowest high low high low now we only have one again look at it it's an odd number so we're going to always have one number in the middle so my median is equals to 500 good job and the last part is my range again remember the range is equals is the difference between the highest which is 11,000 right so it's the highest which is 11,000 so it's 11,000 minus the lowest which is 50 so that give me a range of 10,000 10,950 so my range is 10,950 all right so that's all what we have to do today let's go ahead and complete the IXL as well as the um, classwork problems if you need any help just come to office hours and I'll be more than happy to help you all right have a great day.